What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Mark Chinook, black belt, uh, under Marcel Garcia, five-time world champion, big us. Guys, in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you guys five ways to sweep from lasso, which very simple and effective, but make sure that you understand each one of, okay? So I'm gonna put out there five layouts and then the first, uh, the, the last one could be a first option. The third one could be a first option. You mix, you can change the order, but I'm gonna put the order right there. It's easy to follow and easy to understand, okay? So if you wanna learn five ways to sweep from lasso, this video is for you. I'm gonna go over right here. Very simple, start from here. Both sleeves, never put legs outside, arms outside. Always put arms in here, okay? Now, first ways, I'm gonna, first way I'm gonna go. Number one, lasso deep, foot on the hip. Not shallow last, okay? So, shallow last, give the person better movement, better leverage, so I need to be in charge of the leverage, so that's why I put my knee on the shoulder, okay? Now number one, I'm gonna hit right here, foot, there. Once I hit it, the power comes from my hip, from here to the knee, to the, sh to the mat, and then I'm gonna hit once, not just legs, but hip. I'm gonna just show slow, look, hip, 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 and then open, okay? So go back, so it's gonna be one power from here, Hit it, boom, and then use your hands to push the person fall. Let go, let go the last grip, come up, mount or side control. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna go here the exact same thing. This time, Matt gonna step up. Once I go, wait, wait. Once I go, I want you guys show. I want you guys understand why he's stepping up. Right now, he could step it up, but it doesn't mean anything. I want you guys hit it and gain the reaction, force the reaction. Remember, you're in charge of the connection. You make your time, okay? Not open its time. So from here, when he feels like he's going to fall, he's gonna step it up, and that's the time. So when I go foot on a mat once again, hit, block. And that's exactly what I want, this. Now, keep pushing. Now this guy needs to find this foot, this leg, but all I have to do is keep it, remain the foot on the mat, but keep pushing, but move yourself away from him enough to bring this arm out of control and then kick this leg, sweep. The way to come up, let go the lasso, find the elbow, and then from here, come up with a good control, okay? So hitting this second sweep, because uh, you hit the first one, is all following, all following, it's easy to understand. You hit it, the first stop, you keep forcing him to keep the base up and then kick the other leg, pull in the arm, and you have the, the soup from there. Very effective, works really, really well. Now, our next sweeps will happen, will depend on his reaction, because when you have a lasso, beautiful idea, beautiful word, you get connection, sweep. But I always like to be honest, whoever wants to play lasso, look, lasso idea is one. Now it depends what your opponents do against you that you can keep sweeping or keep your connection. Does that make sense? So make sure it's not just put the lasso right there and see what happens. Put the lasso and start understand the first connections, the first reactions. So I always recommend people, look, if you're looking to do a lasso guard, try lasso guard with 10 people, 20 people, doesn't matter. The same idea, train 10 people. If you train with 10 people, last to last to last with those 10 people, each one's gonna give you a different reaction, trust me. That way if you do that 20 times, 30 times, exactly the same thing with those people, you're gonna have a 10 different reaction to build up of. And that's what I like to use from last week. I always like to do everybody the same thing and then one person gonna be smashing, one person gonna be circling around, one person gonna go to your left, one person go to your right, one person gonna go away, another person gonna stand up. And that's how you build up. 
the more you do it, be annoying. You know, you want to be that guy, play lasso and be annoying. If you be annoying with a position, people never get to say, oh, that guy's good, that guy's annoying, which is exactly the same thing. Being annoying in the position and being good is exactly the same thing, okay? So make sure you be annoying with your guard, okay? So number three, now let's work into the connection. Now let's go. I have first one, second one, he react. Now the third time, Matt's gonna try to move back a little bit, start moving back to stay away from my connection. If I let go, I might, have, I might lose it. I wanna give you guys a heads up. If you start moving back, switch a lasso here. Take a lasso out, use as a pendulum to come up and get a seat belt right there, okay? Seat belt, explore the back. This one, you might go, if you stay right here, count as a sweep. Okay, so this one is two in one. You can get the sweep from standing up and the press stay there or explore the back. So we have a sweep and a back take, okay? So, see again, this one happened when the person started moving back. There, he moved back, moved back, switch, take a leg, lasso out, use that leg as a pendulum to go up, circle around and score the points. Very tricky, the person might don't know that he's doing a good job from top, moving back is your time right there, okay? So, and then the next one is gonna be here, okay? That'll be the third. Fourth, gonna be here, where instead I'm gonna put lasso deep, could be my first option, big lasso circle between the legs. Wanna put between the legs, I need to square it up. Right away, why else get flat? Because it's easy to sit up. It's super hard to sit up when you're sideways. So leg goes in, flat yourself at the same time. Sit up, move this way a little bit. Sit up between the legs. I'm not lifting my hook, but I want to keep my leg heavy. Sit up on the hook. Bring the purse straight down. Look at my back, I'm not going back. Hit, straight, let go of the lasso. Mount position. This one, by far, one of my favorite shoes from Lasso Guard. When you put the leg between the person's leg, it's very, very powerful. And that leg can pin the person's posture on the, on the arm, or you can even lift, which can be a very, very good option. Okay. In the next one here, the next react, Matt gonna stand up, which is very, very common. Okay. So when the person, when you put the lasso in they start standing up, which is a very common reaction to don't get stuck on the on, on lasso guard. So lasso guard, boom, he decides to stand up. Every time he decides to stand up from here, my lasso guard goes between the leg, okay? My foot doesn't come out, you can come out, but use your foot right there to bend your leg, bring him on top of you. Now from here, kind of like use your foot, to bend and lift mat and circle that way, okay? And then from here, just come up, you can go straight mount or just come up right away, okay? So in this one, you can use foot on the mat or foot on the hip, which will depend what the person is giving to you, okay? So when he stands up, lasso change between the legs, Use your foot on the hip because you want to push and pick him up with a foot on the hip and a foot on the bottom. That's the benefit of that one. So go back here. So there, here, boom. He decides to stand up right there. You can keep your foot on the mat or on the hip. Switch a lasso grip. Get this lasso deep. Don't lose. Get this lasso deep right there. Your foot can go on the mat, square up. Bend your leg and lift, which work exactly the same way, okay? But this one, I want to keep my foot on it. So I hook. Now I pull him by my feet as well, legs and feet, okay? So now my knees round between his, uh, round the front of his chest, which he's leaning on top of my knee, my lasso knee. And then I lift, I, I throw my, my hook out from here, that way. I could have lift him over my head, okay? Either one, but I want to stay on the same side of the camera. But you can, good options to go throw him over there. And then from here, you can just always let go the lasso grip to come up for the sweep. Because 
if I go the opposite side, if I go that one, Matt turn. And then he can get on top. So I let go this one because he turned into me. I can stop him and get the top position. Okay? So let's go here, Matt, for a second. So what happened for Matt start take my leg uh, out uh, from the lasso? Okay, from here. The next one's gonna be here. He's gonna start like push his leg, push his hip, uh, bring his hip up and then start taking my leg out. Yes, exactly. A lot of people start passing to the same side lasso, which is my favorite reaction as well. So move back a little bit. So on this one, uh, one of my favorite way, when the person start passing to the same side lasso, okay? We cover it up. If you step up on this side, I sweep to my right. I sweep him if going back. I sweep him if he stands up. And now the last one, I sweep him when he suck around, okay? Gonna be more than five uh, 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 connections right there. So from here, let's go on this side. So lasso guard, boom, hit, bring my bottom leg out, hold it here, my hold this leg, and now start lift his hip up and start cleaning up my lasso grip right there. Exactly, that's exactly what I want. Now look what I want to do. He want to start circling around this side and then maybe end up on the leg drag. Move this way. That's what his next goal is, end up on the leg drag, pin my bottom leg, exact, and get here and stay heavy. That's what he wants, okay? I won't let him get that far, keeping my lasso. So go back here. Now from the last one, Matt, bring my, take my lasso out, so pin my leg. My lasso is going to be on this side, extend my leg, okay? Now he wants to circle to this side. Look what I'm going to do with this leg. My leg going to go hook. My leg gonna hook the bottom knee right there. Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my top leg and top knee to go over and then get the arm bar. This one works 99.9%. .9%. So look, let's see on this angle. Lasso, here. Matt start moving back and clean up my lasso. Yes, I wanna extend my leg on the far side. Bottom leg hook. Now the power on the top leg, just throw him that way. And then from here, get the, the armbar. Okay, so let's go on this side, man. Let's go on this side. When I go here, lasso. He stands up and start cleaning up my lasso. Look, I lost it. He covered up my leg, yes. Now my leg don't relax. My leg extended, the leg lasso extended. Now, bottom foot hook, don't hook the hip, hook the knee. It's gonna be hard for him to posture up. Once I hook, I throw my leg. I can't even use the lower leg. I throw my leg, it's very powerful, and then gets the umbo right there, okay? So I hope the audio is good. So I'm trying out new audio for you guys. Guys, um, thank you so much for watching, and feel free to share. So those are a few options for last so you most know, okay? So I'm throwing a couple options for there, uh, uh, out there for you guys. You guys most know those options of uh, leg lasso sweep, where the person, when you can sweep from the left, lasso side, you can sweep to the right, you can sweep when the person move away, you can sweep when the person stand up. So I always like to make an X like this, so I sweep to my right, I sweep to my left, I sweep in the front of me, coming up, leg between the legs, or I sweep when the person stands up. Those are the, the my air that I like to uh, uh, build up into my lasso. I like to keep all those idea connect, uh, idea organized. Right, left, up, and down. I like to keep those four points of connection sharp because that's how you gotta end up using when you do a lasso guard, okay? So if you like this video, make sure you uh, uh, share again, like I say, and I'm gonna leave a link here all about leg lasso uh, submissions and attacks from uh, uh, my instructional. So I'm gonna leave the link right there at bjjfanatics.com. Make sure you guys check it out. And if you guys wanna uh, also build a kids program, I'm doing a consultation. So uh, a lot of people wants to learn the way I've been doing here at the Academy, how I'm growing the, the kids program. So if you like to build the kids programs as well, I have a few forms that I, I would like to share with you guys. Make sure you 
give me a call and send me a message and I will, we'll go over from there, okay? So thank you so much.